let's understand about acceleration if there is a moving object and the, again my famous car comes in obviously I don't own this kind of a car but that's the best one that I can make let's say suppose a car is moving and let's say the time is as and one hour two hours three hours four hours let's say the car was driving for four hours okay now to start with let's say what's the velocity of the car okay let's say the velocity was 100 in first hour 100 in second hour 100 in third hour and 100 in fourth hour okay so what is happening is that the change in the velocity as it moves from one to the other is zero change is equal to zero in such a case the velocity is said to be in uniform motion however consider case 2 in which let's say in the first hour it was 100 then it was 80 then it was 90 and then it was 100 now if you look at the change there is a negative change of 20 in the first half there's a positive change of 10 in the third half vis-a-vis -vis second and minus 10 vis-a-vis -vis first and there is no change or rather a change, positive change of 10 when third was compared to fourth and zero change when it was compared to first quarter in such a case it is said that the velocity is in non-uniform motion okay now this change in velocity that you are measuring is known as acceleration so acceleration basically measures change in velocity over unit of time mathematically or in if you were to put it in form of a formula the acceleration also referred to as a is equal to change in velocity over time taken so let's say if you were to compare it from between first and third hour what is the change in velocity it is 90 minus 100 or minus 10 and the time taken is 2 hours so minus 5 kilometer per hour if suppose this distance was in kilometers okay and sometimes this is also referred to as a is equal to v minus u upon t where u is the initial velocity v is the final velocity and t is the time 